California, a high school principal made two students apologize to each other by getting down on their hands and knees. Have they gone too far? Was the uh, principal out of line? Join us right now is defense attorney Lauren Lake. Hi, Lauren. Hello. She's in Indianapolis, and joining us from L.A. is Donald Schweitzer. Good morning to you, Donald. Good morning. Don, what do you think? I think that the uh, boy got off on a lenient sentence. The principal could have done a lot of things. He could have suspended this kid, expelled him, could have reported him to the authorities. The boy could have been arrested for assault and battery. Um, I think that the mother is sending the wrong message to his, her son rather than taking responsibility for what he did. Go on the offensive. Attack the principal for doing something that was pretty... You know, pretty lenient. Right. Well, you're talking about one of the mothers, uh, Penny Watson, plans to file a complaint with the school district. Don, you're telling me that uh, if one of your kids came home and said, hey, Dad, I got in trouble, I got into a fight, and the principal made me uh, kneel down and apologize, you wouldn't be blowing a head gasket? Not at all. You know what? Back in the day, kids used to stand in the corner with dunce hats. Remember, there used to be corporal punishment in school, which, thank goodness, there isn't anymore. But what is the, what is the principal supposed to do? He's got to take some form of uh, punishment. Making the kid feel embarrassed is, a, is, a, is maybe the only way to do it. And in this case, that boy, he said that it worked. You know, he, he actually learned a lesson from it. It's the mom that's hysterical and is making an issue out of this. We turn now to Lauren Lake, who joins us from Indianapolis. Lauren, what do you think? You know what? I have to disagree. I, I don't know how humiliation can be the key to conflict resolution. I feel like this principal had an opportunity to really show this young man, these children, the way to resolve conflicts appropriately. And I don't think getting on their hands and knees, you know what? Let me keep it real. I don't even like the pose. Is it animalistic? Is it sexual? It's a little half kinky to me. I don't like them on their hands and knees. Stand them up like two young men and say, you know what? You don't need to be fighting. Let's talk about discourse. Let's talk about dialoguing to solving problems. I just don't think the principal sent the right message. And I can understand as a mother, why is my child on their hands and knees? If there needs to be some humiliating done, then leave that to me at home and you do what you need to do as a principal. Now, Lauren, Lauren, in, school, Lauren in schools, principals and teachers have wide latitude in disciplining children. I used this to be a teacher, about, so This I isn't about conflict of children. This I isn't about resolving to, conflict. To, no, no, Lauren, no. this I is about teacher, this is about so making somebody this. responsible the for what they did and punishing is, them. The Lauren, bottom line Lauren, is I don't need my child on their knees per the principal's orders. Deal with my child. Well, then start homeschooling your kids. You know what? Him. I don't it's, even it's have a, any kids, so you need to calm down in the beginning. I don't even have any kids. My point is I used to be a teacher, and I didn't need to humiliate my children. Well, this, this mother could homeschool okay, Lauren, let Don talk. She doesn't have I just to, need Lauren, to give let them Don, some right tools. Let Don finish his point. All right, Don. <laughs> Thank you. You know, this woman could choose to homeschool her, her children if that's what she wants to do. In our public schools, yeah. our teachers are given wide latitude in disciplining our children. This is not about conflict resolution. This is about shaking yes, hands and learning how to be gentlemen. This is, right. these, these kids need to be punished. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're exactly. going to have to end it right there punished. for right now.